Hello, my lovelies. Um, welcome to day 11. Wait. Okay. Welcome to day 11. Um, we are one third of the way done with Ramadan. I cannot believe the way the time is just flying, 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 flying. Um, I cannot, I cannot believe it but alhamdulillah i'm glad that we are still here we are still going we are still thriving now i know the first week that first 10 days you were so ambitious you were so pumped you were so ready to do all of these things and then you quickly lose momentum and that's another reason why i promote uh pacing yourself because what you, what you don't want to do is go hard go hard go hard and then you end up burning yourself out it's just not sustainable to those of us that are losing momentum that feel ourselves slowing down that feel ourselves getting distracted that have logged back into the apps all of that keep going keep going keep going keep going it is not done yet you have not stopped yet Please keep going. So for today's video, it's going to be a little different. Um, we're going to be productive together. We're going to do Ramadan-esque things together. Okay? We're going to do them together. Um, so with this actual video, I want you to get yourself ready. Set yourself up get yourself in the mode we're gonna do some things together and it's not gonna be long okay i'm not gonna sit here and lecture y'all and tell y'all that y'all need to be doing this for this amount of time and doing that for this amount of time and doing this for this amount of time um but i want us to do some things together and i also want to encourage you to do some some things on your own so the first thing that i want to do is make the good i want to do five minutes of the good now before i used to do like counting so like i would count and be like oh I'm, i would do 100 but that just never felt like enough so i was like let me time it i actually have no idea exactly how much at the car i'm making within five minutes but that's just what i like to do and i do like to time it now you can do any type of dhikr you want you can do subhanallah alhamdulillah allahu akbar la hawla wa la quwwata billah astaghfirullah um any of those that, that you would like to do. I personally love to do Astaghfirullah and La Hawla Wa La Quwata Billah. So I think for this time I'm going to do Astaghfirullah. So without further ado, let's go. I'm going to put my timer on. You can put your timer on or you can just start when I start. Um, and I'll let you know when the five minutes is up. I'm going to mute it because... I don't like the way that I sound making dhikr and I don't want to interrupt your dhikr but you do your thing girl um but three two one start
and that is time for our first five minutes um so next up we need to make some dry need to make some dua. Now, I like to do something that I call like burst of dua because I feel like a lot of times when you really like take time to sit down and think about it, you end up like overthinking too many things and being too modest in your duas or saying things in a different way than you mean it, asking for other things when really you're prioritizing something else and that's what you really need to be asking for. So, two minutes two minutes we're going to have a burst dry session for two minutes now this also tricks your brain into whatever is sitting on your mind whatever is sitting on your heart right now when you know that you only have two minutes to ask for it that's what you need to be asking for and also reflect upon it so even if you want to write them down um, and then ask for it later or if you want to just record it and ask for it now um, but pay attention to what you ask for in these next two minutes okay so three two one I don't know about you, but I said some things that I didn't know I needed to say, but I'm happy I said them. Um, so yes, we did five minutes of dhikr, two minutes of dua. Of course, feel free to stop this video. You need another two minutes, another five minutes, another ten minutes, another day. Do what you need to do. Next up, we are going to do five minutes of reading. Five minutes of reading. Um, and not only necessarily the Quran, but anything beneficial to you. So whether that be an article about mental health, about reparenting yourself, whether that be an Islamic book, whether that be your homework, whatever it is, we're going to read for five minutes. So let me go get my book and then we're going to go. Okay, so I got my book. Hope you got your piece of material too. We're gonna start our timer. Okay, let's go.
and that was five minutes so that is all for today i just wanted to encourage you all to make space to make time in our daily busy lives um to give a little bit because every day you're not gonna have the energy or the time to give it all you can now of course during ramadan you give as much as you can but even on your busiest days your laziest days definitely try to carve out a little time to give as much as you can um and of course allah sees and rewards you for even a little bit um for today's ramadan reflection i just want to remind you again to not lose the momentum um, and I want you to know that you are worthy and deserving of a good full Ramadan experience. Um, no matter what people are saying, no matter what or how you feel, no matter what you're reading, no matter what you're thinking about yourself, number one, do not project your human emotions onto Allah. Just because you feel this way about yourself doesn't mean Allah feels that way about you. Number two, you are alive and you are here to experience this Ramadan. And when Allah has deemed you as worthy, it is not your place to deem yourself as unworthy. So take advantage of all that you can. You have, we have so much to benefit from this month. Um, whether you give little, 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 we have a lot to benefit. So keep going. But that is all for day 11. Um, tomorrow's vlog should be pretty exciting. So I'll see you guys then. Assalamu alaikum. Before I go, um, click the link down below to read about the fundraiser that I am doing in collaboration with LaunchGood. I'm raising money for the Nisa helpline. Um, so click the link, donate, and read all about it. Alright, bye.